Hi, I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to talk about how to do metric conversions using dimensional analysis. The metric system is a universal set of measurement units based on multiples of 10. Prefixes are added to base units to change their size. For example, centi means hundredth, and a centimeter is 100 times smaller than the base unit meter. If you know what the prefixes mean, you can easily convert between different metric units. Here's the kind of homework question you would need to solve for your chemistry class. Convert 189.3 milligrams to grams. To solve this problem, I'm going to use dimensional analysis. This is a system that converts one unit into another unit with a ratio that compares the units to one another. The two units we are comparing in this question are milligrams and grams. Sometimes it helps to use a table that shows relationships between all the different metric conversions. I use this one, and it's linked in the description of this video if you want a copy for yourself. In the center of the table is where we find the base units. The base unit is whatever the measurement is without a prefix attached to the beginning. So in this case, the base unit is gram. The base unit's always one, because well, a base unit is just one of itself. Now I can find the prefix milli, here it is. Milli is 1,000 of the base units. So the relationship is one gram to 1,000 milligram, or I can say 1,000 milligram to one gram. In dimensional analysis, we can write the relationship as a fraction. See how I can write it either way? It means the same thing no matter which way I write it. Okay, so all I have to do is multiply the starting value, 189.3 milligrams, by the relationship. But which one? There are two ways to write it. Well, the one we want is going to cancel the original starting unit of milligram. To cancel it, we want the milligram to be on the bottom of the fraction. That way, it will cancel the original because when a number is by itself like this, it's kind of like it's on top of a fraction over one. So if you see the same unit on the top and bottom across a multiplication sign, they cancel. So I have 189.3 milligrams times one gram over a thousand milligrams Multiplying by one over something is the same thing as just dividing by the thing on the bottom. So it's really saying 189.3 divide by 1000. So I get 0 0.1893. The milligram cancels and I'm left with the unit of gram. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.